So today was a total cuck, like, yo, at least nobody's fault but mine. I was just over-traded for the entire day. The first trade, I could have gotten out and just not traded for the rest of the day, but I felt more confident. I felt like I could see where the market was going, and I turned out to be wrong. Um, the market didn't continue in the direction. It kind of hit a range and just consolidated until it broke back up hit my stop loss and then i just kept over trading over trading over trading right so i'm totally accepting that this is my fault and it's just about me not over trading me not getting too confident me quitting while i'm ahead like if i know if i reach a point where say i hit my daily loss or I get out at break even, I probably should just not trade for the rest of the day and just call it, right? So I'll show you the amount of trades. I took a bunch of trades today. That's why I'm sure that I overtraded. Generally, we try to just go for one, one or two trades max. I probably had like five trades today. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. See, too much trades today. Too much trades. Too much... um extra factors right so let me show you all of the trades that we took today and i'll show you where i entered where i exited and how they played out right so the first trade was basically off of this engulfing so i played the market down from this engulfing and at some point i was really up on this trade but I moved my stop to break even to see if I could get that further push down. Similar to yesterday. That would have been the ideal move yesterday. But I didn't do it. I decided, alright, if it's going to make that kind of move today, I'm going to catch it. And even if I don't catch it, I'm going to leave with like little to no loss. Which, is, which might be a good strategy, you know. That's what I'm thinking at this point. So the first trade was at 29130 and I'm using this strategy to just get those levels really quick. So I entered right there if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 29130. So this is where I entered on the market 29130 and then I had my stop loss set and what time is this I got hit out? -5 1227 so let me see 1227 would be on this candle and i got hit out on basically the same candle right so that total trade was a loss of four dollars so i entered here i got this move to the downside i was up around eighty dollars i was aiming for like a 200 or above 100 profit i didn't get that big push down Maybe I can add something else to it, like a MACD that could add some further confidence to the trade. And I'm going to try that out because you can probably see where the market is like kind of turning tides there. Let me see. MACD, does it show us anything? Huh. It kind of does because this is like when you have weakness. So you have selling pressure here. And then this is like more bullish pressure. If you have strong selling pressure, you would have big MACD candles down here. That's what I understand from it. I'm not an expert on that as yet. I need to get more into that and learn more, right? So that was the first trade on the day. Total loss, $4. The second trade was another sell trade. And I'm not sure when I entered this, but it was at... You minus 5 from this, you get... 12.06 so that's on the 12 o'clock candle so right here so I could see the market had a huge week down so I'm expecting a little push down I was expecting this to be like you have a push down come up a lower high and then you have lower lows that's what I was expecting like a regular structural move but it found a support here with also a three line strike bullish candle that just basically pushed you up and destroyed me. So let me show you. So I entered there at 29129. Let's move it over. 29129. So this is where I entered at 12 o'clock. 
and then I closed at this would be the 145 candle or I got closed out at 145 and this is around here at 291.16 so it was pretty close 291.16 so I'm thinking it started to go against me and then I was like yeah let me just take some profits at this point and you can see how close it was here I had some profits as it pushed down yes but I was aiming for more and it just didn't seem worth it to take it if it didn't hit my level but I could have still exited with little to nothing so i exited with around ten dollars overall on that trade and that was the second trade on the day so it's good that i can actually review i can see my mistakes more clear and i can see that it's better to actually leave with what you went in with or make a small amount of profit than actually exiting having a bigger loss because i ended up taking two bigger losses closer to the end of the day and i'll show you them so the next trade, I think it was just a quick in and out because I saw the market. What I saw and what the market did was very, it was two different things. So initially the market started to look a certain way. And then as it started to kind of reverse, I was like, yep, I'm out of this trade. I don't like how it's looking. So that, that was on, for minus five from this, that's the 145 candle. So let me see, 145. So right around here, and the market actually did continue pushing up, but something about it just wasn't, just how small those candles were, it didn't give me that confidence to ride it to the upside. But that's how the market can kind of fake you out, because as there's so much indecision here, you're just so nervous. If you're looking at the market, you're thinking, this trade isn't going to go go with me already have enough losses for the day let me just leave right so it was the same candle essentially i entered as you can see i don't have to zoom up the i don't have to do this anymore i can just set the amount that i entered right here and it just sets it this has come in very very handy so you can see how close i entered and exited there 0 0.03 difference for a total loss of 4.5 on that trade and then closer to market in add more trades so i had this trade at 145 so this is when i flipped the trade so when i flipped the trade thinking we we're going down i even had a bullish engulfing candle and even that couldn't save me because this next i had a bearish engulfing candle thinking it would have continued down then i had a bullish engulfing candle right after and it was a monster i probably got hit out on this exact candle as well so this is the candle that i entered as i could see like just the the, the market didn't have that strength pushing up so that's where i just lost confident confidence in my position and i flipped it to the other side so i flipped it to the sell side and then you see, I'm 100% sure this is the candle that took me out because it's just a huge push up. So I got hit out on the 245 candle, which is this one. And that was at 29160. So at 29160, right? At 29160, you had a huge bullish engulfing candle. And I'm thinking, okay, bullish engulfing candle, the market might continue up and just close back at probably open or even pre-open because what was this yeah this was pre-open it didn't do that at all it came right back to let me see this is open so it came closer to open but you just still had a breakdown and this is off of uh off of an ema as well so it was a mix mix bag mix mix bag so this is where i got stopped out of the trade for 46.5 but total loss of 48 dollars that was the fourth trade and then my fifth trade now was to the buy side so i saw that engulfing candle i was like all right sweet you're going that way let me just take it to the upside then right i'm thinking we could ride some momentum to the upside 
And I was wrong again. So you see overtrading like it's like you're chasing your tail and if you messed up already, your psychology is so messed up that it's hard to even stay in the trades and for anything to even make sense. And then you also have the market maker that's like they know you're down. They're just playing for you to just get crushed at this point. And they just dangle, dangle you, dangle, dangle until you're just wiped. You're just wiped. If you don't have your stop loss, they take a big chunk out of you and then they leave. So this was the fifth trade now. And this is where I got hit at my stop loss again because I'm figuring the market if it's reversing, we're going to hit a stop loss here and then continue up. The market definitely did reverse with three strong bearish candles. Came, pushed you right down. And then the last candle was what kind of pushed you above that level. The last candle actually opened down here at 29101 around that level. And then it pushed you right back up until 291. Let me see, 29182. However, I wouldn't have been able to take advantage of that trade because the broker closes you out at 350 just because of their policies. I don't know what their policies are, but I'm just working with it because they are the platform and they are the ones that can give me some good funding. So that's why I'm using this platform. Um, that was basically it for today. It was just a wild ride. Um, looking back at today, looking back at, at today, what should I have done? It should have just been these two trades. I shouldn't have got greedy and decided that I'm going to trade. It should have actually just been this one trade. When I ended up hitting that break even and it proved that the market isn't going down like with strength, like my initial position was wrong. I should have just stuck with that. Honestly, should have just stuck with that. The next best thing for me to do would have been to enter on this bullish engulfing candle. So this bearish engulfing candle, with focusing on just a strategy now, not what I did. This bearing engulfing candle was actually right. It would have just been for me to kind of work out a trailing stop loss strategy while it came to that level. So a trailing stop loss strategy would have been good. The only problem with a trailing stop loss strategy is that you you can get down. Say you get to $100 profit and you have a little um, reversal up until $80 before it moves to like $200, $300. You leave a lot of money on the table because the market doesn't go straight down. The market is like zigzag, zigzag, right? So that's the only thing. And then you could have probably taken it off of this bullish engulfing as well rode it to the top here bullish engulfing here um stop loss down here could i take it up to here and just left let me actually look into something to see because usually how um the channel that i watch they want you to employ this strategy they want you to if you're gonna enter on the bearish engulfing they want you to have a two to one risk reward essentially right with your stop loss, like close to wherever the bearish engulfing was formed. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the wick, more the body. So it could actually go here. And if you aim for a 2 to 1, not bad. A 2 to 1, exactly, would mean you would enter. You'd enter the close of this candle. Now you'd enter the open of this candle with your stop loss above the close of the candle. And then you have a two to one risk reward. So you're basically working on your risk more. Hmm. Okay, so you enter at the close of the candle, which would have been the open of the next candle with your risk above the open of the previous candle. That's what it's looking like to me, but I usually try to go for the wicks in case the market really goes against you. But a two to one would have worked perfectly on this to the downside. So not being greedy, a two to one, you could have hit your profit within the next candle. 
right after the next candle would have been a clean sweep up 100 shares 200 dollars in out in within 15 minutes um let me look at this bullish engulfing now so the bullish engulfing so we entered right on the candle close which would have been the open of the next candle with your stop loss like a little above the wick there a little above the wick of the very bullish engulfing candle and you just go for a two to one hmm so t today you can see it's a lot about greed and not following the strategy because if I had employed the strategy directly and you're entering, you're entering here at the close of the previous candle, right? And you have your stop loss below the wick of the previous candle. You can see it never came back to that level. Never came back to that level. It took a little time, yes, but you still rallied up to that 2 to 1 risk reward. So it could have been a $200 profit, right? With no drawdown, zero drawdown. $400 profit actually. Zero drawdown, you not hit out of your trade and you left. If I had followed the strategy. So next week, clean. We're just following the strategy to the T, to the T, to the T. Doesn't even matter if it doesn't look like it's going to make sense. We're following the strategy to the T. At least I am. And I hope you're here next week. I hope you enjoy this journal. I'll give you a different style of video tomorrow. Like something that's a little bit more interesting. A bit more general if you're not really into trading. But happy Friday. Happy weekend. I'm going to spend some time with my family and stuff like that. So I'll see you in the next video. Alright. Bye bye.